What does coaching look like with your reps? Is it just done for the best people? Do only the best managers coach? Do you have a system in place to get some type of coaching for each one of your reps, or is it just ad hoc? Do you just kind of wing it and set up appointments when you have the time? Obviously, one of the big challenges of coaching is just the sheer amount of field reps you have and who you give your time to. The GROW model, G-R-O-W, was introduced by John Whitmore in his 1992 book, Coaching for Performance. G stands for goal, a measurable goal that has a specific timeline. R stands for reality. What is the rep's current reality? What sales do they have? What's their closing percentage? O stands for obstacles and options. What are the obstacles in front of the rep that are blocking them? And what are their options for getting around those obstacles and getting growth? W stands for the way forward. How is the rep going to move forward? This is not something you prescribe to them, but something you come to an agreement with the rep so that they can move forward and reach their goals. So it's grow, goal, reality, options, and the way forward. Congrats, Steven, you defined an acronym. Good job. Does that help me coach more reps more systematically and more efficiently with less time? Well, the opportunity for you managing a large sales force is looking to create a way where you can facilitate the use of something like the growth model. It doesn't have to be the growth model. It could be another type of coaching model. The point is, what are your ergonomics around helping managers and reps get coaching done, even if it's just automated coaching. Here's what I mean. Let's talk about the goal in growth. Are you giving an easy way for reps to regularly input their goals? Are you prompting them to enter their goals? And do you have a place for managers and higher up management to see these goals? It's that simple. Okay, so that's systemizing the G in the growth model. The R in the growth model, realities for the rep, their KPIs. Are you surfacing those to the rep and to the manager so it's really easy to see when you're texting the rep, when you're talking to the rep on the phone, or making groups of reps that are at certain KPIs so that you can interact with them really quickly at scale. Obstacles and options, you can kind of infer what the obstacles are for a rep just looking at their KPIs. But maybe this is an option where you let the rep actually input the things that are affecting their ability that are more more personal or more qualitative rather than quantitative obstacles. And then what are their opportunities? What can they log in their goal journal around the opportunities they see? Maybe it's a specific video that they could watch to learn. And then you could suggest opportunities for them. You give them an option of a list of opportunities based on their KPIs and then automate the release of training. People throw the baby out with the bathwater when it comes to coaching. When they think coaching, they think one-on-one -on -one going through a model like this, which is incredibly effective, but getting to a model where you can provide some lightweight, low-touch coaching for all of your reps is a huge win. All right, lastly, the one we want to talk about is a way forward. A way forward, again, is finding ways to segment your reps based off of their goals and then give them ways forward through a text message saying, here's a training on an obstacle. And you can either look at this in a qualitative way where you're looking at, say, a, a journal of their goal logs and reach out to them and give them something on a one-to-one -one basis, or you can identify reps and segment reps based off of things that they've chosen they need to work on. So this is a way to supplement, I don't think it's a replacement, but a way to supplement physical one-on-one -on -one coaching and give everyone an equal playing field when it comes to keeping them accountable to their goals.